I think this is part of a broader strategy to help the on-ramp for commerce and empowering their cloud. Uh, it's, a, it's not exciting for investors on the hardware side, uh, but all the services that they can pump through the system. Uh, and so we see a world where uh, commerce, music, video, all these uh, different mediums can be uh, pushed through these, these devices. So yes, we think consumers want these devices, but it's not just the device, it's to get you hooked into a subscription into power AWS and these other initiatives, which are much higher margin businesses than hardware. Uh, this is clearly negative for Sonos. Okay, well, you know, they, I can see that. I can see how uh, putting out these new products could do some danger there. But my question is, according to the information, maybe you remember this report, Paul, they said only 2% of Echo owners have made a purchase through the device itself. Is Amazon putting more eggs in this basket than are, is, is worthwhile at this point? No, I don't think so. I think it will end up being a material driver for the company. And I agree with everything that the other contributor just mentioned. But the way I look at this particular stock is that you have a 66% year-to-date return and a double in the last 12 months. And so a lot of the good tidings are already priced into these shares. I'm just a holder of the stock here, and I would only buy it unless it successively tests the 50-day moving average, which is about uh, 1890 plus. Brent, I'm curious, when you hear Amazon making these inroads to different places within your home, like the kitchen, when you hear about more and more people buying these devices, getting hooked into its services, et cetera, are you more concerned, does the concern grow that the U.S. government will target Amazon? I don't think the, the risk grows. The, the risk for Amazon, in, in our opinion, is do they have just too many ores and too many waters and the, the risk of getting defocus. Uh, but I think, as Jeff Bezos said yesterday, you know, there, there are multiple things that go through on innovation. They're a company that learns to fail fast. So if these don't work, they'll, 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 they'll bail and, and cut, cut ties with these initiatives and go, go somewhere else. So uh, we've seen this in multiple occasions where they've shut down businesses. So we think they're obviously very good at doing this. And uh, we, we think it's the right strategy, again, uh, to provide the on-ramp. We do think that there'll be a lot more commerce that flows through these systems. And the other analogy is if you look at what Google's doing, right, Google's copying their playbook. And so everything that Amazon's doing on these devices, Google's doing the same thing. So uh, we expect it's going to be a, a race for the home among two large vendors. Uh, right now, there's obviously a premium sound experience with, with Sonos, who recently went public. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, I think, I think Amazon's got the, the lead just like they have the lead in commerce at a 50 plus uh, percent share on the home device market. Brent, Tom, Tom Farley here. You, you were quick to dismiss the threat of government intervention. Uh, there's already some government intervention in, in Europe. Margaret uh, Vestager is not to be trifled with, the, the European antitrust head. Um, you're not concerned about that latest development or a spillover into the U.S. as Amazon grows ever more powerful and gathers ever more data? Yeah, let me be clear. The Alexa announcement today doesn't increase the likelihood. Just to answer that, we do believe... Obviously, the ongoing regulation is a concern. It's a concern across the entire Internet uh, coverage, uh, covering Facebook, uh, Amazon, Google. No question. It's the number one question we get from investors. Uh, what's regulatory going to do to the multiples? Clearly, it has had no impact on Amazon. Should it have uh, an impact? Should there, should there be a regulatory discount embedded into these I, multiples? I think there is a growing discount. Uh -huh. I, I think there's a growing discount that's happening and you've seen it already in Facebook, right? The stock uh, peaked out at 215. We're back almost at, at the low uh, next to the Cambridge Analytica scandal. So, yes, I mean, we think that, that there should be some discount embedded, uh, but we still see uh, north of 10% upside. And if you do the what ifs on the 2021, you know, we're still getting to materially more upside uh, going forward uh, based on, on the sum of the parts across all six of their major businesses.